But Lions fans have to understand, and Brad specifically, that your window is right now. Mm-hmm. Right now. The 49ers lose three straight. The Eagles have a tough next six games. You know what the combined record of the next six opponents for the Eagles are? Or excuse me, the next five? 31 and 13. <laughs> and you look at their next six games. Let's go through it really, it's absurd. Uh, really, really quickly, shall we? It's they, a have the, they have the Cowboys, the Chiefs, the Bills, the 49ers, the Cowboys, the Seahawks. That's the next six games for the Eagles. Now, are they going to lose every single one of those games? No, but it's a tough slate for the Eagles. Not, I'll tell you one thing they're not going to have one loss after that ne- the next six games. They're going to have more than one loss. The window is right now. This is a year-to-year league, and you guys know this. You've been watching the NFL for a while. Nothing's promised. Like, nothing's gradual. Like, we can't look at next year and be like, well, Lions will have this record, and then the year after they'll have this record. That's not how the NFL works, especially with guys, you see it, with Aaron Rodgers going down. It changes things, doesn't it, Mm -hmm. when someone gets injured? You have to capitalize on this window. The NFC is wide open. Brad Holmes, I'm talking to you. All right, nobody's asking Brad to give up a bunch of draft capital. No one's saying that. But what I am saying is it's never a bad thing to improve your football team. And we know this, especially if you factor in the financial side of things, which I'm asking Brad to do. No one's saying go trade for big contracts or give away multiple first-round picks. And we'll get to the Montez Sweat stuff, but it's it's reported him and Chase are being shot for a second-round pick. And the commanders keep losing. And the commanders keep losing. Like, guys, you can't sit here and watch other teams in the NFC just get better. You just can't. And expect, well, we'll get there eventually. No, you're that team right now. The 49ers traded for McCaffrey last year. Have a pretty good record with them, don't they? Until the last three games. But regardless, the last three games. But regardless, before that, they were pretty much undefeated. And then the Eagles get Bayer. Their secondary improved, even though they didn't look like it you know, yesterday. But regardless, they're trying to get better. The Lions have yet to make a move like that in Brad Holmes' tenure, which I respect. And he's actually done the right thing. When this team was building, he didn't go and trade for any stupid contracts or players that weren't weren't worth it. And and I love that. But this year you're five and two. You're one of the better teams in the NFC. Not only that, I think they're a half game out from the one seed. They we just need the, the Eagles to lose, and then if you win a couple games, boom, you're the number one seed in the NFC. That's how this works. So what I'm saying is, Sam Flannel, go get somebody. <laughs>